and today in my video I'll be telling you about the story of the Infinity Stones Part One. So in uh, today uh, I'll not be telling the uh, films in the right order, but you'll understand the story. So this is Part One. In this Part One, I'll be telling you about three movies, which is Captain America One, Two, Three. So let's get started from Captain America 1, the first Avenger. So in that, let's go with a super villain who thinks that people will get godly powers if they have the power of the Infinity Stones. And in between the film, finally Red Skull gets the Infinity Stone, uh, the Tesseract. And in between the fight of Captain America and Red Skull, Tesseract sends Red Skull to all near to be the protector and the guide to the people who uh, come in the search of the soul stone. The Tesseract gives him that job. Okay? So, I'll be telling you, uh, so we are going to first Avenger, Captain America the first Avenger. This is Captain America 2 the first Avenger. In that movie, uh, the Red uh, uh, there's also one thing about the Captain America First Avenger that is in between the fight uh, in after uh, Red Skull was sent to Vyalmir to be the guide and protector for the people who come in search for the Soul Stone uh, after that in the spaceship which uh, Red Skull and Captain America the spaceship in which Captain America and Red Skull were fighting was crashed into the ice and it was under the ice for 40 years and then in Captain America the uh, Winter Soldier Captain America was found by the shield under the spaceship and they and the shield and the Tesseract was with the shield then the Tesseract the, after that the Tesseract was with the shield and then Captain America was, uh, Captain America became the uh, one, uh, a part of the, became the part of the shield and became an agent of the shield. And at that time, he met with Nick Fury, Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow and Sam or uh, the Falcon. And... Uh, in that, uh, but in the Captain America First Avenger, in between the fight of Captain America and Bucky vs. Uh, and Red Skull, uh, the Bucky, everyone thought Bucky was died because they were fighting about the train, about train, and and Bucky. Uh, fall down through the tree the uh, Lord that is more than uh, uh, a person can live that means it was on a height which was not touching the land and he fall down he falls down and everyone thought they were he was dead in Captain America and he became very sad and then, in this movie, Hydra finds him and one of his hands was gone and was replaced with a metal arm. And Bucky was uh, in hyper sleep for about four years itself. And, Cap and also, as unlike Captain America, was buried in ice for four years. And about uh, and then we are going and then Hydra doing the after the hyper sleep Hydra doing washes him and uh, puts in his mind that whoever he sees he should kill them leaving Hydra and his people and he kills and he kills and he uh, tries to kill Captain America in between the movie and Captain America removes his mask 
and finds that it was Bucky and he is so surpri surprised and then in the last fight like uh, was uh, Red Skull versus Captain America uh, they were in a spaceship and that spaceship also crashed and uh, Captain America should have died because he was faint but Bucky saved him because he thought he knew him he was someone to him he understood that and he saved Captain America and Captain America meets him again in Captain America 3 the Civil War so we are going to talk about Captain America 3 the Civil War now and in that Captain America and Iron Man become enemies because of Bucky because Bucky killed Iron Man's father and mother and Iron Man wanted revenge by killing wanted revenge by killing Bucky and Captain America tried to save Bucky and uh, Iron Man and Captain America fought and Paul fought in Cap and that the last Captain America should have killed Iron Man but somehow they became in a commerce and Captain America gave the shield to Iron Man himself because it was made by Iron Man's father Howard Stark and then mm, Iron Man uh, was uh, actually he stopped working with Captain America but still they divided into two groups like uh, Avengers of Iron Man and Avengers of Captain America and then all fought by the side of Captain America became criminals and they should have gone to jail but they were hiding in some place till the Infinity War okay and to know that uh, Iron Man 1, 2, 3, please was my next photo. And also there's one more thing that I need to tell you about is uh, this Infinity Stones was with Nick Fury, which was gone from him in the Avengers 1 and was took by Thanos in Infinity War. I just told you this so that you can understand a little bit more. So, till the next video, goodbye.